Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am precious. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. So I had a vanda that was seven feet tall. It was about seven feet tall and I did a top cut recently. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did it and also share the reason why I had to cut it. I'll also show you how I treated it for fungus infestation. So let's get into the video. Welcome back friends. So I'm going to be doing a top cut of this Vanda orchid. And the reason why I'm going to be doing a top cut of it is because I'm unable to enjoy the blooms anymore because this Vanda is way up, looking up into the sky. It's like about seven feet or over seven feet in height. So I'm going to be doing a top cut of it. And it is being grown inside a pot. And when I do the top cut, I'm going to replace it. I'm, well, I'm going to place it inside another pot. Not this pot, but another pot. And if you look quite closely here, you'll see that I'm getting some new growths or shoots couple of them coming up on this stem here and I'm going to be doing the top cut from this section right here because if you look all the way up you'll see that it has some lots of healthy roots which is one of the rules when you're cutting a vanda it has to have several healthy roots in order for you to cut it on or for it to grow successfully whenever you do, do that top cut or stem cut whichever it may be so I think I'm going to no let me remove these wires first. We'll remove this one. And I'm going to cut it right here. Put it right here. Can't make up my mind. Alright, I'm going to be doing it right here below this root here. And guys, here it is. And I should tell you that my cutter was sterilized prior to the video because I always sterilize. It was sterilized using household bleach. Look at this vanda. Look at this vanda, guys. And each time I'm, I, I said that I'm going to cut this vanda, it keeps putting out a spike for blooms. But I have to cut it with the spike because each time I wait on it to bloom off, another spike comes up. Because if you notice here, there are two old spikes here that I'm going to remove shortly. So it is always in bloom. And it has some molds or black soot, whatever you may call it, which is fungus. So I'm going to remove that as well. So come along. Let's go pot this vanda. But before I put it, I'm going to saturate the plant with hydrogen peroxide and growthite. And then I'm going to be using a piece of paper towel let me saturate it a bit to remove some of the fungus or at least most of it from the stem or from the plant. I want to do this before I cut it because I think it's easier for me to do it now rather than after I cut it and mount it on the stick. There it is, guys. It's coming off quite easily. And because it was so tall, I could not get to do this before because the vanda was extremely tall. It was competing with the sun, I think. Look at this, guys. Let me turn around the paper use the other side and 
I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. But in the essence of time, I don't want to be too long. Because I know you guys are anxiously waiting for me to pop this vando. I don't have an ID for it. I don't have an ID for it. So, but I'm going to put the bloom on the screen. If you recognize the, na the plant and you know the name of it, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be grateful. I've had this vanda for many years, so I lost the ID for it. So guys, I have removed most of the fungus from the plant, as you can see here, and I also removed the two dead spikes. And I'm going to start the process now of putting this humongous vanda orchid. So I'm going to put some gravel in the bottom of the pot, and this gravel was washed. I always wash my gravel to get rid of any impurities. Oh, sorry guys. Cinnamon, cinnamon powder, that is. Sometimes me having a challenge calling these names, you know, guys, all right? Always remember to put cinnamon powder on the tip to prevent fungus or stem rot. So I'm going to now carefully place the vanda inside the pot. I've already put some gravel in the bottom and I'm also going to be using this, I think this is four feet um, stake, the metal stake to mount the vanda. I'm going to be putting in this stake as well with the vanda so that the gravel will hold it in place. All right. We're gonna fill her up now with gravel. I'm using a clay pot as you can see I always love to use the clay pot because they don't retain moisture and they also allow for good aeration for the plant roots so I love to use these clay pots to plant my orchids Let me just remove this bottom leaf. I'm now also going to be using some tree fern chunks and charcoal inside of the pot. But I'm going to put in the tree fern chunks before I put in the gravel. And the chunks will help to retain some moisture around the roots of the vanda. Then I'm going to add a little bit more gravel. And now I add final touch, pieces of ch um, charcoal. I love to use charcoal on the top of the gravel help alleviate some of the heat from the sunlight because after this vanda is acclimatized it's going to be grown in full sunlight just as it was being grown before and i'm going to be using this soft wire to secure the vanda onto the stake If you don't have this wire, guys, you can use whatever, but ensure that it's soft because you don't want to damage the stem of the vanda.
and here is the vanda all nicely potted as you can see it has lots of roots and i'm going to place it in an area of my garden where it is going to get filtered sunlight for about say two months and then after that i'm going to put it out into full sunlight as a matter of fact as soon as i start getting some more roots and i see that i'm getting the, the vanda has started to grow i'm going to put it out into full sunlight so i place the vanda in this section of my garden where it's going to get filtered sunlight from this fishtail palm and also from this euphorbia leucocephala plant so guys we've come to the end of another video thank you so much for joining me in my garden today if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment let me know if you learned anything at all from this video also remember to share my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so until next time see you soon mm -hmm.